Now let's talk about experimental studies. It's important to note that all experimental studies have one characteristic in common, and that is manipulation. We're first gonna look at pre-experimental studies. If a scholar aims to obtain preliminary research data to determine an effect, the effectiveness of something, such as an intervention or a treatment, he, she, or they may wanna use a pre-experimental design. And like I said, a characteristic of all experimental designs is manipulation, and a pre-experimental design includes manipulation. And manipulation is when a scholar manipulates an independent variable, when they implement an intervention to, ob to observe whether or not it has an effect on a dependent variable. So for example, I, a scholar may ask, to what extent, if at all, does participation in the You Go Girl STEM program affect high school girls STEM GPA? So they, they, they he or she, would implement the You Go Girls STEM uh, program and examine the effect um, on GPA. A, a pre-experimental design that's often used is considered a is often used is a one uh, one shot case study, and that's where implementation of an intervention happens. In this case, the You Go Girl program, and then the effect is studied. Then GPA is looked out after the fact. As you can see, you it's really hard to say that this program is what caused maybe the GPA, the effect on the GPA. So that's why it's important to understand this is just to obtain preliminary uh, information because there are so many threats to validity um, and it's hard to make conclusive conclusions. But um, you use a, a scholar would use a pre-experimental design if they want to obtain preliminary research data to understand how an intervention may have an effect.